RSTT tracing can be especially helpful when working with frontends or applications not implemented in ABAP that access the BW for data retrieval, planning, or similar. Very helpful if a problem cannot be replicated in RSRT directly, but only in the front ends. The RSTT trace is not a log capturing error or status messages. The RSTT trace actually saves the call parameter of enabled functions and boppies for later replay and simulation in the system. Thus, the RSTT trace is only helpful in a live system, and it makes no sense to download RSTT traces or save them as text files. The RSTT trace is user-specific. Thus, if you want to record an RSTT trace, you will need to know already which user is performing a certain activity. The user activated and the user activating the RSTT trace need authorization for authorization objects S underscore RS underscore RSTT. Now we run a sample query in Java Web and type 1 into the first input field. The web application is failing with a certain error message. To record an RSTT trace, you have to open the transaction RSTT and activate the user. In transaction RSTT in the left navigation bar, select Trace Tool and click on User Activation. In our case, we have already done these steps. For Trace User, Select the username that will be executing the front-end report and press Activate. Afterwards, you will see the user that is active for RSTT tracing. Several users can be active at the same time. Selecting the user row and pressing Deactivate would remove this user from tracing again. It is strongly recommended to deactivate the user as early as possible to make it easier to identify which RSTT trace is to be analyzed and also to keep the RSTT star tables small and performant. While the user is activated, run the sample application again. Note, it is very important to close the old session and restart a new session. You can make sure by logging off or in a browser-based tool by pressing F5. Back in the transaction RSTT, deactivate the RSTT trace. Select Trace Collection in the left side navigation bar. With user, date, and time, you can identify the latest traces. Depending on the front-end application session management, more than one trace could have been executed. Double-click or press Display to see more details of the trace. In the details of the trace, you can see the sequence of recorded ABAP functions and BOPIs. Here we see basic sequence for the execution of a BEX query in Java Help with the BIX interface. For every function recorded, the parameters are saved for later simulation. Selecting a line in the sample BIX underscore prov underscore open and pressing the button parameters and XML is displayed containing all importing parameters. In the sample, the data provider name parameter contains the BEX query name NR underscore BRAIN746. When the line of the function is double clicked, the parameters can be displayed in the ABAP debugger directly and the function could be debugged as well. For this, Look into the ABAP variables P underscore OBJ N M and N underscore T S underscore P A R M B I N D. P underscore OBJ N M contains the name of the function. N underscore T S underscore P A R M B I N D contains the parameters the function was recorded for. A simulation would reuse these parameters. Some applications log the BEX query name under the Test Object tab. In the upper bar, there are three options to execute the trace. Execute Trace will prompt for an extra step for experts entering the debugging call position. Execute Directly for quick simulation of the trace. 
This does replay all saved functions with the parameters saved. With debug, for activating common features also found in transaction RSRT. The call sequence of the trace can now be simulated by executing the trace. As dumps, error, information, warning, and other status messages are not always handled very well by every front-end application, the RSTT trace can be used to test what error message has been thrown exactly. Thank you for watching.